Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kyrie here, and welcome back to some more Nintendo Wii U gameplay of Nintendo Land. And today I'm showing you some multiplayer gameplay of Mario Chase. So, once again, guys, this is post commentary, and I'm playing with my brother Sean and my boyfriend Chris. And on this gameplay, I am always using the Nintendo Wii U gamepad tablet. So I'm just going to go through a few levels here, recording directly from the Wii U. And then later on in this video, I'm going to show you, I think it's like one level, playing on the Nintendo Wii U gamepad. So as you can see, bright and vibrant, and the familiar sp split screen settings that we've seen on other attractions on multiplayer. So the idea is that when you, you're playing Mario, you need to run away and basically um, they need to try and catch you. So once they catch you once, it is game over. They've got the timer there ticking down, so that's how long they've got to catch me. It is quite funny actually because I can see where they are but they can't see where I am. You can see there that um, Sean has spotted me and now he's chasing after me. This is where things get really, really tense because, uh, you know, you start getting really, really, oh my god, no, don't catch me, and stuff like that. This level is fairly decent, um, but my favourite level is the one where it has loads of slides on it. You can see there that I've just picked up a star boost, which should be familiar to all you Mario fans out there. It basically allows me to run really, really fast, so it helps me to get away from Sean who's trying to catch me now. Chris has no idea where I am. You can see there that on each of these split screens there is um, like a distance meter that tells you how far away you are from the Mario player. So um, it does help you to figure out which way to go. <laughs> see Chris was actually running the opposite direction from me there and he didn't know that I was behind him. That was quite close there, Sean almost got me. <laughs> it is really, really fun um, on multiplayer this game. Especially for the, uh, well actually I, I enjoy being both. I enjoy being the chaser and I enjoy being Mario. Um, obviously you'll get to see the gamepad gameplay at the end of this video, but it is really fun being Mario because you can see where the two players are that are trying to catch you or you know if there's more than two players that are trying to catch you so you can see where they are um, while running around so it does help you out whereas they can't see where you are other than when they're right behind you like now um, 27 seconds left so will they catch me won't they catch me you'll have to see I kept giving them the slip and I kept hiding behind uh, there we go, at that particular point in time I was hiding behind that pillar there. No, they're not going to catch me, I'm going to win on this. There was actually um, one we did where they caught me in like 12 seconds, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Yay, I win. <laughs> so that was the first level. Now you'll get to see something really cool now so it shows you this which is me running round and it shows you like where they were going and how close they were to you so this is a really cool feature I quite like it I'm not going to show you this feature after every level um, on this gameplay I just wanted to show you it once or twice so you guys can see but it is really interesting um, to watch and know how close they were sometimes like Chris there he was like oh my god you were behind me and I was like yep and you didn't notice <laughs> so it is is a nice little feature that they've added on there I think the next level is um, a level that has like um, kind of like quicksand on it so when I run over it or when the toad characters run over it they actually get stuck a bit so it's a level I don't really like but it has got a lot more hiding spots and um, twists and turns in it so here we go I'm going to show you the second level now Mud River Run I 
Yeah, so the colours are actually helpful to the two players trying to capture. Like, if one player sees me running towards a colour, like Sean or Chris will go, she's going towards yellow, she's going towards yellow quick and all that, so it does help them out. So you can see there that that's quite slowed me down. At this point, Chris was going, she's going towards red! <laughs> I quite like um, that this level's got these holes in those walls that you can see that were in front of Sean just there. That's quite cool. And there's like different zones on, on this particular level. Um, this bit's quite cool on the left, in the top left corner on the blue. And um, you've got like this windy ledge that goes up and down. It's quite, quite fun to actually uh, get rid of the toads chasing me on that bit. So it's saying Sean's very close to me. He has spotted me here. And they're trying to corner me there, but Chris, uh, but I turned around last minute, so uh, they weren't able to do that. <laughs> Sean was like, what the hell, when that bridge disappeared. Now I've collected the star again there, so I can get away. This is it, this is the bit I like, this windy bit here. Allows you to just jump off the ledge and get away really easy. <laughs> yeah, I think Chris and Sean don't really like this level. They kept going, oh, I hate this mod. Let me know, guys, what level you think... Um, looks the look looks um, the best or what level you enjoy the best on this particular attraction oh so close to me there you should have got me actually but like I said I enjoy the third level which obviously you'll be seeing next which has a load of slides on it if it weren't for the mud on this level this this level will probably be my second favorite but it goes third level is my favourite, then the first level, and then this level. <laughs> oh, if it weren't for that mod, that really slowed him down there. He can see me, but he doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, he got me! Three seconds left and he got me. That was quite epic. He was right on me for quite some time though. So, yep, this is my favourite level now. Sometimes I forget that I'm supposed to run away at the beginning and I'm just standing there and I'm like, oh, I need to run away. So you're supposed to run away before the timer hits zero. <laughs> so used to waiting for the timer to hit zero before you can move. <laughs> Actually comes really in handy if um, you're trying to corner the Mario player and you slide down the slide it really does get you so much closer to them. This is what they were trying to do here when I was running around the edge they were trying to and Sean thought I'm gonna guard this star because obviously I would ended up getting it for the past few times we've played so Sean was thinking about staying around the star there but I was just like do you really think I'm going to go get the star while he's standing by it? <laughs> and he was like, good point. <laughs> so then he moved away. I don't think I actually bother to collect the star on this level. I think I'll leave it. Yeah, it's gone. It's disappeared. So the star only actually appears for a period of time and then it will disappear. So it's not worth it if uh, the toad players are hanging around the star. 
wasn't necessary. Um, no one was chasing me, so I didn't really need to go get it. They've pretty much lost me now. You can see that they're both really, really far away from me. There's a good vantage point to use at the top of that um, point in the middle of, the, of this map. Helps you to see if you can spot me running round. There we go, Sean's using the vantage point again. Oh, he's seen me, he's seen me. But he's got 13 seconds counting. Uh, 10, 9. <laughs> he's not going to be able to catch me in those seconds, so. No, I won! <laughs> So I thought I'd leave this one on again, so you get to see how close they were sometimes. There we go, I was really close then to the toads. And then they lost me. <laughs> I was thinking of collecting it. Oh, I did collect it actually. I didn't realise I did. waited until he left. See, I tricked him there by saying, oh, I'm not going to collect it when you're there, and then he buggered off, and then I went and got it anyway. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to show you guys some Nintendo Wii U gamepad gameplay of Mario Chase now. And, um... I think the level I'm going to play is my, oh no it's the first level actually, I thought I was going to play the third slide level but I'm showing you guys the first level so here we go, this is my screen now on the Nintendo Wii U gamepad so I've got the map on the right hand side which shows me where the two toads are and I've got the um, other map on the left which obviously shows me me running around in game on the map. I've now I've got a camera on the bottom right which you can turn on and off which is like a face capture cam so that would have captured my face. Um but yeah I left that off. <laughs> no one wants to see my mug. <laughs> oh so close to me there. See what I mean about the slides though they really do help out. Chris was so close to getting me then. Here we go, they were trying to uh, split off and uh, trap me here, but Sean decided to go and protect the star again. I hope you guys have been enjoying these Nintendo Land videos I've been bringing you. I don't know um, how many more I'm going to do because there's some attractions I don't like on it um, and there's no no point in me filming the gameplay because it's just going to be really bad gameplay if I don't like the attraction so um, but I'll try and bring some more Nintendo Land gameplay to you guys uh, multiplayer and stuff and um, I'll try and finish off The Legend of Zelda um, Battle Quest multiplayer, and um, I also want to do like play through Pikmin on multiplayer and film it for you guys. So I'll try and do something like that. But I think for now, this is pretty much going to be my last Nintendo Land video for a, for a period of time because I do really need to focus on some of my um, other videos, like my Let's Plays and stuff. So, but I just wanted to bring some fun content to you guys um, of the Wii U <laughs> which I'm really really enjoying so I'm 
Sean spotted me again there, but he's quite far behind, so I don't know. I don't think he catches me on this. I think I managed to get away again. But yeah, um, I'll wrap it up now guys because the video is going to finish soon. But you've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and this has been some more gameplay of Nintendo Land on the Wii U. Playing the attraction Mario Chase. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Wii U gameplay and Let's Plays and just lots and lots of different gameplay. Thanks for watching guys.